Okay, today we are going to demonstrate the use of energy harvesting, a condition when you use NFC to power up not only the NFC device itself, but it's also another microcontroller where the NFC device is dynamic tag is connected to. In this uh, case, I have the NFC 04A1 it coupled to the nuclear board um, L476 nuclear board SEM32 notice that I no longer have the SD link section because the SD link section would consume more energy so I remove it so that I would not um, uh, consume more power that way so now we will run the SD25 DV application, uh, the uh, SD25 NFC tab that's uh, located on um, Android, uh, uh, the Google Play. So when I uh, put it on there, you notice that the, um, the LED is blinking rapidly. It means that a program, the firmware at this point is blinking the LED back and forth. So what we want to do, we want to be able to change the LED, uh, the LED pattern by downloading a different firmware that does just that. Okay. So you might notice that there's a piece of, I have put down a piece of rubber here. Because normally when I download the firmware, it takes some time because we're transferring at around 53 kbit per second. And we're transferring around, you know, in some case, 100 k bytes, and that can take, you know, in order of uh, 40, 50 uh, seconds. So uh, we are going to um, Put a little rubber wheel here, Lego rubber wheel, so that we can have some stable spot, so we can really do something with it. So now, go to this um, menu, and you scroll down, do you go to firmware update, you select firmware file, so you, um, let's see, So like a firmware in the phone memory, my files. So we choose select firmware one. We do start uh, the transfer. Password for firmware two. Firmware one is seven two one two three four five six seven two. Now the transfer is starting. Make sure that you don't break the transfer when the transfer has been started. So if, if you basically move the phone away from the antenna and disrupt the transfer, then that would basically cause a disruption. Transfer is okay. So if I put it in R, so if I put it in RF field again and just simply power this thing up. You notice the LED is now blinking uh, very slowly and how it works is that there are two banks in the SM32L476. So what we did, we to the mailbox feature of the C25DV, we copy the firmware onto bank, bank 2 because it was running bank 1 and then we do a switch bank. And now it's running from bank. So the fact that the architecture of the SM32 make it really easy when you have dual bank um, architectures, because you know in many cases when you have situation, a default firmware need to be executed if something happened to the previous firmware. You can do that on the fly, but in this case we actually use it to. Um, 
to change uh, to change the firmware of the SCM32. Thank you.